What's up guys, it's Carlos. I'm here at SHOT Show 2020 with a familiar face. It's not every day you fly out to SHOT Show and run into a buddy. Yep. This is my friend David from Blade Banter. Yep, and yep. we are here at the QSP Knives booth and we have some really nice stuff for you to check out for 2020. So, um, David, why don't you go over some of the, the uh, current products, some of the new stuff, and some stuff that may be coming out a little bit in the future. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So then we got some other ones that are, um, you don't see a lot of slip joints that come out, um, so it's actually gaining popularity. Uh, so this is where we're going to have the Falcon uh, that's going to be this type of design for it. And so that carbon fiber plays with the light awesome. Uh, it's something you can get kind of lost in. Uh, you're going to have the, the blade style right there. So it's going to be a pretty cool one. We also have uh, Damascus, so that's coming into good favor now. Uh, so it's not going to be something that you're going to get from Pakistan, uh, which is really horrible. Uh, <laughs> but this is going to be some really nice design, something that you can really uh, enjoy and actually get into. It's going to be a little bit premium for these, so there's going to be somewhere about $170 plus uh, for some of those. But that's going to be where it's going to be getting into some good materials uh, and then also the titanium uh, sides and everything. And then that's where uh, we're also running into, this has probably been our breakout for the year uh, as far as the worker. It comes with four different handle materials. You're going to have ox bone, uh, you're going to have the carbon fiber, you're going to have uh, basically the regular G10, and then you're going to have a snake wood. Uh, and this is going to be in the worker. Uh, Arthur Brum is the one that designed that one, so he did a really good job on that one. He did this one for us. He also has a neck muck knife. Uh, so he's doing really work, great work, so really appreciate him for what he's doing. Uh, so another one uh, that is one of my personal favorites, doesn't get a lot of love. Uh, this is going to be the Piglet, so interesting name. So you're going to see a lot of the QSP, they're going to be having a lot of uh, animal names, mm -hmm. bird names. So they keep to that trend, so you're not going to have some that type of off-the-wall name that you can't pronounce most times. Uh, but that's going to be a thumb stud knife, a 14C28. So anybody that's kind of getting burnt out on D2, uh, there you go for that one. Good and if point. you yeah, and if you really want to get into some premium stuff, uh, this one is a Dama steel, not Damascus. And then it has refered noble handles. That is something that is going to be like wood in a sense, because it's going to actually have a different uh, look for it um, as you go. Uh, so that's going to be something that's going to be different for every single one. Plays with the light, uh, excellent uh, for that one. Uh, so going off to another one, so the Mamba has been one that has been uh, Aaron's favorite. So uh, the owner and designer, uh, he actually likes the Mamba quite a bit. And then we have Refere Noble on this one. Uh, the base model one is the one that's in carbon fiber and also least expensive. You're going to find that probably about $80 uh, and then some discount codes might help you out with that oh, as well. Okay. Uh, but this one's going to be a little bit over that, so it's going to be about 120, 130, uh, just because that Refere Noble handle scale is a more premium, uh, more expensive material as well. Uh, going into one that uh, I think we sold 400 of these uh, on Drop.com in three days, uh, so that's going to be uh, this knife here, the Penguin. Uh, so we're going off another uh, bird name for that one. Very nice. Yeah. I, I really like the blade shape yeah. on that. And yeah, I think so the micarta really gives it that. Yeah, so that. try that one out. I mean, that's going to be a nice one. I don't know if you oh, yeah. in hand. That's a nice, smooth, but I'm sure tactile and uh, feel on that micarta. And yeah. once you start to really work on it, the oils from your hand and just media from what you've yeah, been yeah. working with are going to penetrate into that micarta. Uh, and it keeps it nice and smooth under here so that you can slip this uh, deep carry pocket clip into your pocket and uh, take it out when you need to use it. And speaking of needing to use it, uh, I do see that this one is D2 steel. Yep, so that's nice that to be able to go ahead and, and, and put this type of utility style blade to work. Um, this is, I mean, the warmth of style is probably one of my preferred style uh, blades when it comes to actually going in and doing work. And I mean, what better than a tool steel you know, yeah. for, for putting for in work or something yeah. like that. I think that this is going to be really great, you, whether you have gloves or you're just, you know, you're just using it in your hands. And I figure that one's going to be a suggested retail price about $30. So, I mean, you're not going to really beat that for many places. $30 by Carta, D2. Whoa, um, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. 30 you need to tell me, is, okay, deep carry clip, I mean, this action is fantastic. Yes. You got, you got my Carta, yep. D2 steel, yep. 30 bucks. 30 bucks in most retailers, so you can get some discount codes off of that. Uh, but that one's the one that, uh, yeah, we sold 400 in three days on drop. Uh, so it might be one to look out for and actually pick up. There are two different colors. So I have jeans by Carter and another one that's more of a tan. So the Penguin, mm -hmm. Micarta D2 Steel, Warncliffe Blade, 
deep carry clip, lanyard holes. I mean, 30 bucks. Wow, that's that's some serious value, man. I yeah. I, I might need to pick up one of these, man. Yeah, yeah. I I really do. You okay. Get it in hand makes a big difference on some of those too. So coming here, having the opportunity to be able to put this in your hand and actually see how it feels and you know see if it's a fit for you. Mm -hmm. I, that's why I really like coming to shows like this where you get to unveil some of the the, the current, new, and prototype models. Yeah, definitely. You know, going into two, uh, 2020. And uh, I mean, this is what makes you know the, a great for a reviewer such as myself and a reviewer such as yourself. You know, to really get a hold of this and see how it works in our personal lives. Yeah. Yeah. So, so 2017 is when QSP quality service price uh, came to market. They're doing OEM work before that, doing OEM work now. Uh, so that's kind of where that started out. Uh, so we have two other models uh, to round it out. Uh, so these are going to go also in the premium side. So uh, Refere. Uh, is a well-known name for a lot of handle materials and everything else. So this is a Refere Stabilized Wood and also a Refere a Mammoth Tooth. So a tooth nice. of a mammoth and the extinct um, elephant. Uh, so that's where you're going to have that. And this is going to be a lock back as well. Uh, so taking it up a notch for some of those traditional styles uh, for some of those. Wow, that's a beautiful lock back. I mean, just the way that, that this is inlaid here with the uh, with a nice traditional lock back, that, that spine right here is looking really, really nice. And that two-handed opening is still nice and smooth, uh, even though it's, it's you know, it, it calls back to that traditional lock back. It's actually really smooth opening and closing. Uh, closing. I, I like that a lot. Now, um, it shows that this is, this is a, I'm assuming, a prototype? Or is this uh, yeah, this is a production? prototype. Now, so now we have five models that we brought to the show that aren't out yet. Uh, we're going to be having that in April. Uh, so any dealers out there that want to pick up some of those new ones, uh, there's a time to do that. Awesome, okay. So tell me about the uh, the wood scales on this particular yeah. knife right here. Yeah, so this is the Hawk. Uh, so it's a sandalwood. Uh, so um, not many people smell their knives, but if you want to smell that, and it actually has a scent to it. Uh, so it has a little bit of sandalwood type of smell. It so, actually does. Yeah, so and that's something that uh, if you, I guess if you're into knives that much, you're like, oh, yeah, I want to smell my knife and see how it is. <laughs> that's going to be one that will do it for you. It's not damn steel, but it is Damascus. Uh, about 58 to 60 for a lot of hardness on that one. About, I think it was 57 layers as well for that one too. And then we do have the other one that kind of harkens back to the first one knife that we showed as far as that carbon fiber. And then this one also does have uh, the same thing as far as the Damascus blade. And these are going to go for about 120 so it's still very reasonable, something that you can get into. And probably this is going to be my favorite one that we brought to the show uh, this year. Now, just to touch up on what you had mentioned uh, earlier about QSP, what does QSP stand for yeah, again? QSP, uh, Quality, Service, and Price. Uh, so that if you actually look at the logo, uh, so that's what the triangle is for. Basically, it's the cornerstones of the company for quality, service, and price. Uh, so that's what that is. I heard like quail, pigeon, sparrow, uh, and other things like that. Uh, but that's what that name actually means. Quality, service, and price. I mean, you're definitely getting it with this lineup. Uh, with the stuff that's current and the stuff that's coming up, so wow! I mean, uh, I'm I'm pretty speechless, man. You you need to work on getting some of these in my hand. <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll have to go around. Well, guys, yeah, uh, these are the folders from uh, QSP here at Shot Show 2020. I'm here with Blade Banter, and it's been a pleasure working yeah, with you. Check on this out our channel as well, Carlos. Daily Carry Solutions, yeah, right yeah, here, brother. There you go. <laughs>